Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Monday the 18th of March 2019. I hope everyone is doing well. This is for all signs, it's for the collective. I'm using the Psychic Tarot deck along with the Madam and Dora, and I will be doing today's tarot reading with the Everyday Witch Tarot. And at the end of the reading, I will be pulling a Power Thought card as well. Ah, oh, the Sphinx. Very nice. And as always, I do weekly and monthly readings. So if you'd like to go check those out, that would be awesome. All right. The cards feel really, really good. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We are ready to start, you guys. First card out, we have Queen of Wands. Knight of Swords. Six of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, <laughs> and the Fool. Very nice. All right. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and let's take a look at these cards first. We have Transformation coming out here. So, to me, this represents the ending of something. Uh, the death of it and you're starting a new beginning or a new way of doing things um, this can resonate in so many different ways we do have the full here to you guys as further clarification for this card so you guys are ending something this could be a job uh, you could be transitioning into a different position at work this could be you getting a completely different job this is you, tra you know, transforming in a positive uh, way um, and, and ending a, a cycle, ending something that I feel was no longer serving you so you can move ahead and move forward and transition into a new beginning here. This is a major arcana card. Uh, this is a very powerful card, a very powerful energy. So, I, I, the word transition is coming out very, very strong for me, for you guys today. Now, we have the Sphinx coming out here. Choose your words carefully today. Very interesting because we do have the Five of Wands down here uh, with that's clarifying the Knight of Swords. So, be mindful, you guys, of who you're around today. Um, you know, not everybody has to agree on, you know everything we are allowed to believe and think and feel and choose whatever it is that how whatever fits us in our life we don't have to sway to someone else or they don't have to sway to us so just keep that in mind and make sure you choose your battles wisely because don't waste your your energy on on someone else that's not vibrating on the same frequency as you are i feel like that's very important as well now we have the Queen of Wands clarified by the Knight, the Nine of Pentacles. And I love this energy, you guys. This is the energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I, I the Queen of Wands is just amazing. She's very self-assured. This could be a role model. This could be a teacher, somebody that you look up to. This could be the energy that you're possessing today. She's very attractive she's very optimistic whatever she sets out to do she gets done okay she's she's a firecracker all right she has a lot of that fiery passionate energy so she's a go-getter all right and with it clarified by the nine of pentacles this is all about to me independence so i feel like for many and this can be masculine energy as well you guys just because this is the queen of wands this can be masculine too uh, independence is a very positive and good feeling I uh, feel like today for many of us um, a lot of us might be solo um, 
you know, self, very self-reliant here. This is all about accomplishment as well, you guys. Uh, she's, you know, she's worked hard. She's sitting in a garden and, and she's enjoying, look at the tree and the fruit and the pinnacles. She's enjoying taking a time out to uh, relax. She's enjoying the fruits of her labor. I mean, it's very, very nice. So I feel like very, uh, very lot of you have been, I'm so sorry, mine getting tongue twisted. A lot of us have been working very, very hard. We've had that fire lit up under our butts and we've been very passionate uh, with our desires in moving forward with our work or whatever it is that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're very excited and we're just taking the bull by the horns is what I feel like. And we're enjoying it. And it's also giving us a feeling of independence and security and stability as well. Now we have the Knight of Swords coming in here clarified with the Five of Wands. Now the Knight of Swords is the energy of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, this is a very self-assured energy. Again, this energy is, uh, he's very frank. He's also very knowledgeable. He's very, um, he's very forthright. He speaks his truth. He speaks his mind. You see he's holding his sword out. He's ready He's ready for action, and he can be impatient at times. Um, you could have somebody uh, maybe coming at you uh, a little crazy today, and I feel like you may be tested on how you react. That's why I feel like the Sphinx showed up here with choosing your words carefully, because this is, you know, taking action here. Now, this very well just could be, for many of you, you're needing to take action at your skill or on the job and there's many of you because you can see with the five of wands clarifying the knight of swords there's look how many there's five witches here all around a cauldron and you can tell they're they're having a disagreement uh about a situation even the cats are having a disagreement <laughs> i love these cards so like i said before you do not have to everybody doesn't have to agree you know all of the time okay it's okay to have disagreements just make sure you watch your words carefully because I feel like people you may be coming in contact with or having a disagreement with could be uh, people that you do care about people that you're close to so I feel like it's very important to make sure that you know just think of it is this way is it worth it is it worth losing a friendship is it worth uh, people going and not talking for a while um, I really don't think that, you know, and I guess there could be circumstances, of course, where things could get that bad, but let's, let's choose our words carefully and let's try not to let that happen, all right, because I feel like there's teamwork here, and I feel like there's a lot of energy to move forward in whatever it is, this independence, um, that you're seeking, the stability that you're wanting in your life. And you have people around you I do feel like that you care dearly for. So just be careful because this can be, you know, this can be disagreements. This can be, you know, just an inner struggle or inner battle to, to get along with others or others getting along with you. All right. So we have the Six of Cups clarified by the Fool. Now, the Six of Cups, this can be an energy of innocence and playfulness of you could be feeling maybe some nostalgia today, maybe thinking about the past. Um, this can represent people coming back into your life from the past as well. Um, you could be starting this new beginning, taking a leap of faith on someone that you had in your past. Maybe it didn't work out before and you're trying again. Now, for others of you, this is where this major transformation, I feel like, is taking place. And you're transitioning because we have the full here. And this is... This is all about starting a new journey, you know, exploring your possibilities in your life and having that free spirit. This is also represents trusting in the universe and what those little nudges and what the universe and spirit and your angels and your spirit guides are, are guiding you and telling you, you know, listening to your, your gut instinct. And I feel like you're transitioning in, into this, uh, this new beginning here. And I just, it's a good feeling, you guys. This transformation isn't, 
I, I, I don't feel like it's a bad transformation or an ending. This is the, the start of a new beginning in your life where you're transitioning into a new phase where there's abundance and there's growth and you're very self-assured, you're independent, you have self-confidence. Um, you have this achievement, uh, this feeling of, you know, having all of this independence and, you know, accomplishment. I, I feel like it's very important for you to be self-reliant, even if you are with a, a partner, a significant other, or married. I, I feel like your independence still means a lot to you, and that's what you're striving for. Um... I just feel like this may be you thinking back, um, you know, at this cycle that you're moving away from. Some of you could be getting out of college. You could have children leaving the nest. And, and you're thinking back on those fond moments. And now it's time to transition into a, a, a you know, a new and wonderful, beautiful world, a, a reality that you are co-creating. I feel like the, I mean, the energy is just beautiful, you guys. I, I literally, I can see the, um, you know, the butterfly emerging out of the cocoon. I, I mean, and it's a beautiful, um, amazing energy that I'm feeling right now, you guys. I, I just, this is an awesome day. I mean, these are beautiful energies. Now, I, I will say this. This is something that doesn't happen in 24 hours, you guys. So, this this one reading here, this is for Monday, you know, uh, but this could be happening in your life within the next month, the next, you know, the next 30 days as well. When you are in a major transition and uh, ending a cycle and, you know, going through a transformation, it's not something usually... Uh, that I know of that happens overnight. All right. We have, my income is constantly increasing. I begin now, today, to open myself to ever-increasing prosperity. Wow, I love this, you guys. And this goes with, with these cards. I, you know, like I said, expansion and growth. Uh, it is I feel like is taking place here as well for many of you uh, Just make sure you choose your words wisely carefully today you guys um, uh, If you get into a disagreement with someone ask yourself is is this worth you know losing my energy? Is, is this worth my my time? All right, you guys. Thank you so much um, I send you all my love wishes and blessings and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye